This is the IQ11 Legendary Edition. For those of you unfamiliar with IQ, they are the sister company of Vivo, the official sponsor of the World Cup. And you might be thinking this is just another one of this year's flagship smartphones, but with BMW Motorsport branding on it. But let me tell you, this is a monster inside. It is a next level performance driven device. In fact, it's among the first of the next generation flagship smartphones for 2023, because under the hood is the brand new Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chipset. Simply put, if you were to compare the iQ11's CPU clock speed to the Samsung Galaxy S22 or any other device running the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, it would outperform it by around 35%. And as you know, speed is crucial, but do you know what else is equally important? Power. And this device, thanks to the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, is estimated to be around 40% more power efficient than last year's flagships. And iQ has thrown in a 5,000 milliamp hour battery, which is really at the top end of battery sizes in smartphones. And there is a 120 watt flash charger in the box. So iQ provides all of the power and speed you need, but it gets better. A lot of the top spec flagship smartphones of 2022 had impressive displays, many of which were Samsung Display E5 AMOLEDs, which reach up to 120 Hertz refresh rate. The iQ11 has the new E6 AMOLED with 144 Hertz refresh rate. And not only is it faster than the E5, it can also get brighter with local peak luminance reaching up to 1800 nits and get this, at the same time, it's 13% more power efficient. And it gets even better than this. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 GPU is all new and improved and 25% faster when it comes to overall graphical performance, which is a big deal in the world of gaming. And on the topic of gaming, the new Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 now supports ray tracing, which is a technique of rendering 3D graphics. Essentially, this improves reflections, beams of light, all of which will appear with greater detail and accuracy in future games. And mark my words, one day in the future, you will not even know the difference between what is real and what isn't. And on that topic, I'm gonna to link a video at the end of this one that shows you what AI can do today when it comes to art. Honestly, it's gonna blow your mind. And see that little digital subscribe button below this video? If you push that, that will make a real difference to me, for real. Anyway, let me know in the comments at this point in the video, do you think the iQ11 has the minerals to defeat what you consider to be the current number one Android flagship? So you know what? If this phone already sounds good, you need to stick around because it gets even better. Most phones rocking Qualcomm chips rely entirely on the Qualcomm Adreno GPU that's part of the chipset to handle all of the graphics on the device, but not the iQ11. iQ have kind of supercharged the iQ11 and has added a little chip of their own known only as the V2. The V2 chip from iQ enhances the display's performance with the ability to upscale the frames per second using interpolation. This is a method of predicting movements and inserting additional frames in between existing ones so that games that only support lower frame rates can be enhanced to 90 or even 120 frames per second using predictive AI. And because this V2 chip is taking some of the workload away from the Snapdragon HN2, it actually makes the E6 display even more power efficient than it already is. And here is another bonus display attribute that I'm sure many people will appreciate, including MKBHD. The IQ11 screen is flat, just like the planet. Okay, I'm only joking. And here's another gaming advantage that IQ11 has for you, but you might not realize you actually needed until you learn how to use it. I know that sounds confusing, stick with me. It's what IQ called the dual monster touch. Most mobile gamers are limited to two thumb controls. This monster touch feature allows you to use four inputs simultaneously, so it can register four input touches within certain games. And another addition to assist you with your gaming awareness is the Linear X Axis haptics that now have a new algorithm they're said to give you a better idea of where you're getting shot from in games like PUBG. And there are a ton of gaming software options to play around with. Honestly, the gaming features probably deserves its own video, but let's keep going. So if you've been watching the channel for a while, I like comparing smartphone camera performances because it helps you see 
where smartphone technology is really at when it comes to camera. And on paper, the specs on the IQ11 is nothing short of impressive. We have a 50 megapixel GN5 primary shooter at f1.8. It has a 13 megapixel telephoto and an eight megapixel ultra wide. And it's one thing for me to tell you how good they are, but it's probably just better for me to show you. So here's how the IQ currently compares to the Google Pixel 7 Pro and the iPhone 14 Pro Max. This is the primary shooters, this is the telephoto, and this is the ultra wide, and this is one ugly mother <laughs> Yes, that's me, a monster on the outside. This phone also boasts incredible video stabilization features, night photography, and even night video features as well, which I will be testing out soon. So make sure you turn on the bell notifications so that you don't miss out on that when that goes live. So IQ Call, the IQ11, a monster on the inside for many reasons. And I think when you sort of look at everything that we've gone through in this video, it is justified. Not only does this have the 2023 flagship chip early, but there's also an option to have 16 gigabytes of RAM in the device. That's double the amount of what most flagships had this year and even double what some of the flagships will have next year. So that's pretty incredible. So I do believe it's truly fair to say it is a monster on the inside, but on the outside, it certainly is an eye-catching and iconic device. And this design here on the back is what the French call Clou de Paris, which I have no idea what that means. Let me know if you're French, what does that mean? But I do like the tri-color stripe and each one of the stripes actually represents something. So if you wanna know what that is, let me know in the comments. And the back of this legendary edition of the device is described by IQ as a lychee texture made from vegan leather and apparently there are carbon fiber elements weaved into this design. And if you happen to have a BMW, lend us some money. <laughs> and I think you're gonna enjoy the style and look and feel of this one more than most. But this phone to me right now is definitely one of the best phones I've had the pleasure of testing so far. And if you wanna get one of these here in the UK, you will have to import it. If you wanna check out the latest prices, there'll be links in the description. And if you wanna check out that AI video that I was talking about earlier on, that's on screen right now. Go check it out, let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't be late.